Hello guys, I am Devin Rai. I am currently pursuing MTech from IIPS DAVB. This video is part of my Java assignment which was guided by Dr. Nitin Nagar sir. In this video, we are going to cover four topics that are HTTP request, handling HTTP GET request, handling HTTP POST request, redirecting request to other resources. Okay, let's begin with HTTP request. The HTTP request, we need to understand what is HTTP request first. The request sent by the computer to a web server containing all sort of potential interesting information. It is known as the HTTP request. Here HTTP stands for Hypertext Transmission Protocol. The HTTP client sends the request to the server in the form of requested message. Now we will see the structure of requested message. The message contains the requested line, analysis of source IP address, proxy and ports, analysis of destination IP address, protocol port and host. Requested URI, URI stands for Uniform Resource Identifier and requested method and content, user agent headers, connection control headers, cache control headers. Now we will see the difference method of HTTP request. First of all, get method. Get method asks to get the resource at the requested URL. Post method is similar to get with some extra information sent with the request. It asks the server to accept the body information attached. Head information asks only the header part of whatever a get would return just like get but with nobody trace ask the loop back of the requested message for texting or troubleshooting and etc now we will look at the get method and when to use the get method when to use the get method first of all we need to understand get that we have already understood it is the default requested method it saves the result in the form submission. For example, you can submit data and bookmark the resultant URL. Many search engines use the get data type in your hand. You can test server or JSP page that use get simply by entering a URL with the appropriate data attach. Now we will see when to use the post. Post the URL that we are using in the get has some data limit. It is limited to few thousand characters. So we cannot send a large amount of data using get. So we need to use post. In post, we send large data like binary data, space, carriage return, tabs, and many other characters that are illegal in URLs or we cannot set it by using get method. Keep the data private from someone looking over the user's shoulder. Now we will look at the HTTP servlet request handling. Now you know that the client make the request to the web server using HTTP protocol. To handle HTTP request in a server, we extend the HTTP servlet class and override the servlet method that handles the HTTP request that your server supports. As you can see in the diagram, the get method and post method requests the web server and it will get the response from the web server. But internally, the web server get the response from the service method that uses do get and do post to generate the response. That is the part of HTTP servlet subclass. Now we will see the difference between the get method and post method. In the case of get method, only limited amount of data can be sent because data is sent in header. In case of post method, a large amount of data can be sent because the data is sent in the body. Get method is not secure because it is exposed in URL bar. Post method is secure because it do not expose data in URL bar. Get request can be booked, post request can not be booked.
get request is idempotent it means the second request will be ignored until the response of first request is delivered while the post request is non idempotent fifth reason is get request is more efficient than the post request post request is less efficient than the get request we will see the practical implementation of get and post in the later part of the video now we will see redirecting request to other resources there are various methods for redirecting request to other resources but we will discuss only two methods that is send redirect method and request dispatch method or request dispatch interface that contains two methods that is forward method and include method so let's begin with the send redirect method send redirect method of http sublet response interface can be used to redirect response to other resources it may be sublet jsp html file or any other form of file it accept the relative as well as the absolute urls it works at client side it can work inside or outside the server it always send a new request as you can see in the figure client request the web resource that is web app 1 then it will redirect it to web app 2 now we will see the second method that is request dispatcher interface the request dispatcher interface provide the facility of dispatching the request to another resource it may be html file sublet or jsp the interface can also be used to include the content of another resource also it is one of the way of sublet collaboration there are two methods that we use in the requested dispatch interface that are forward method and include method we will see them one by one so let's begin with forward method forward method request from the sublet to another resource another resource can be sublet jsp file or html file on the server it syntax it accepts the two outputs is that are sublet request and sublet response its syntax start with public void forward sublet request request sublet response response and it will throw the sublet ex exception as you can see in the figure the user sends the request to the server 1 server 1 forwards the request to the server 2 and server 2 will response to the user back while in the include method it also contained the resource that is sublet jsp page or html file in the response its syntax is similar to the forward method that is public void include sublet request request sublet response response that also throws the exception sublet exception in this as you can see in the diagram the user request to the server 1 and server 1 request to the server 2 then server 2 send the response back to the server 1 and server 1 will send the final output or response to the user while in the forward method server 2 is directly sending the response to the user now we will see the difference between the forward mechanism and send redirect mechanism in web application the forward request dispatching mechanism can be used to provide the communication between two resource which must be available at the same server while in the send redirect mechanism it can be on the different server also in case of the forward mechanism one request is sufficient to establish the communication between two resources in the case of the send redirect mechanism we need to request to establish the connection between two web resources this work forward mechanism works on the request object send redirect mechanism works on the response object the forward mechanism user can see the url while requesting dispatch gets the url resource in the same request and url does not change while in the send request uh, send redirect mechanism 
makes the client create the new request to get the resources now we will see the practical implementation of get and post method Now we will see the practical implementation of the get method. Here I have created the three files that is index.html, add sublate.java, sq sublate.java that is to perform the square of the method. Now we will look at them one by one. Okay, let's begin with the index.html method. Here I have performed the add action and submit action and I have taken input of two numbers by using the input type text so I have now the add sublet dot java here I have extended the http sublet and named my class add sublet which uses the do get method and here the parameters are req and res that is request and response and it will throw the io exception or sublet exception in this I have taken two integers i and j to get the number 1 and number 2 and another integer k to perform the addition of them and to print the result of k I have used the print writer class and in the square sublet class I have used I have also used the do get method and to print the result I have used print writer now I will run the program so I have to run the index.html so I will right click on it and run as one on server restart I am restarting the server um, ah, it is asking for number one so I will enter like four number two five its addition is nine whose square is 81 so it's correct so you can look at the url here it is for get this is the output of the program that we have recently run as you can see in the url the this is the url of the get method but when we use to post method the url got changed here the value will not be shown so thank you have a nice day